All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to my contest prep series. This is episode seven, and I'm currently just over nine weeks out from my first natural bodybuilding show. So this past week has really just been a continuation of what I've been doing for the past few weeks. I've been on the same amount of calories, which is still 2,530, with the macros being 240 grams of protein, 50 grams of fat, and 280 grams of carbohydrate. And speaking of macros, I'm actually coming out with a full day of eating next video, so I'm gonna have two videos for this week, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, this week I have been in week three of my training muscle cycle. So I have week four next week where I'll be doing hell week, basically be going to zero reps in reserve on everything, AKA failure. But this week I'm going to one rep in reserve and especially towards the latter half of this week, I've been feeling like super beat up. I am ready for a deload. And next week is gonna be a tough week for sure because I'm gonna be going to like failure on all my sets. I'm gonna be doing like a ton of volume and I will be continuing to dig with the food. So the calories I've been on and the macros I have been on have been causing a very steady amount of weight decrease. So I'm losing body fat every single week. Really excited to show you guys what my physique looks like towards the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. But right now I'm around like 174 to 175 pounds. It's about where my average has been and I'm getting super lean. So the results are certainly getting to a point where they're like surprising to me. Like honestly, I'm getting to the point where I am like, I didn't even know I looked like this. I didn't know I had the potential to look like this. Today's video is sponsored by Let's Get Checked. LGC makes professional health testing easy by letting you get tested without having to physically visit a healthcare provider. Choose your test online and it will be delivered to you in discreet packaging with next day delivery. Once received at the lab, results will be confidentially available to you via your secure online account within two to five days. Once available, your results will be reviewed by a physician and then you will receive a phone call from a nurse to give you recommendations of action, if any. Let's Get Checked lets you avoid uncomfortable office visits by providing you with access to home testing and professional medical consultations without ever having to leave your home. It's truly never been this simple to get tested. They have a wide variety of tests available on their website and so far I've used three. The ones I recommend most to men are male hormone tests and micronutrient tests so you can realize any micronutrient deficits and know how your body is doing from a hormonal perspective. I think knowing these kind of markers are invaluable when it comes to bodybuilding as hormonal and nutrient intake matter a lot when it comes to progression. These are the results that I've received from my first LGC test back when I was bulking and I'm planning on getting more tests throughout my prep as a further means to monitor how I'm doing. So if you're interested in getting tested, visit trylgc.com slash maxstrozny and use my code max30 at checkout for 30% off. Thank you and back to the video. You guys just don't know your genetic potential unless you, you know, put in the work for a long time, you're consistent with it, you do everything you can with sleep, training, nutrition, etc. Judging your genetics is often super pointless and it's like generally a waste of time. And you can only really judge your genetics when you are at a point when you're like stage lean, honestly, and you've been working for years. For me at least, I've put in like a ton of work these past few years. I've been super consistent with everything. I don't think like I've missed a workout in I don't know how long. I've always been as good about my nutrition as possible. I've always been in a surplus when I've been massing. I've always focused on my sleep and I've always focused on trying to keep like a somewhat stress-free life or low stress life as much as I can. Obviously that's a little bit difficult this summer given that I'm in gross anatomy, but I only have like one week left after this week and then I'm finally done with it and then I'll just be able to focus on prep and other things in my life which is gonna be fantastic. As I touched on a little bit earlier, I have started to feel pretty damn fatigued. This week has been tough for sure especially towards the end of this week. I, you know, once I get to my second rotation of pull push legs, so basically I do pull push legs starting Monday and then pull push legs Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then I have off Sunday. But when I get to that second rotation of the pull push legs, usually I am pretty destroyed. It's probably partially due to training legs with Sam on Wednesdays when I do my first leg day. And I'm like on the pendulum squat, like, you know, actually going to one reps in reserve or you know even zero reps in reserve in that last week. Definitely looking forward to that next week. But I've definitely been struggling with a lot of fatigue and I'm super ready for a deload and I'm really going to try my best to leave everything in, you know, this last week of training to for sure earn that deload and earn, you know, 
some time where I'll be up in calories a little bit. When I'm actually doing that deload too, I'll be going home. So I'm going home for my older sister's wedding. And I think we'll probably be doing some sort of like diet break or at least like bringing up calories to maintenance or something. I actually haven't brought my calories up to maintenance at all this prep. It's pretty much all been in a deficit and I'm almost like 10 weeks in or so. So if anything, I've certainly earned at least a week to be at maintenance or something like that. But yeah, that's how prep has been going this week. It's definitely been getting tough, but I'm ready for it and I'm coming for the smoke. Coming for it all, bring it all. And without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys get to the workout portion of this video because I actually have a decent amount of content to show you guys and hope you guys enjoy that and I'll catch you later. All right, everyone, welcome to the workout portion of this video. Hope you guys are all enjoying the video so far. I'm showing you guys a pull day today. So this is actually my second pull day of the week. So as I was explaining earlier, I do pull, push legs and then pull, push legs. So this is technically my second rotation of the week. So I just have pull here. And this one is a little bit more of a vertical emphasis pull day. So I'm actually starting with, with assisted pull ups here. Whereas on my horizontal emphasis pull day, I start with bent rows and then I have machine rows and then I have assisted pull ups. But today I have assisted pull ups, heavier machine rows. These assisted pull ups are a little bit heavier than my other day. And then I also have some lat prayers, AKA lat pullovers, whatever you want to call them on the cable machine. But this assisted pull up machine is honestly really, really good. I, you know, switched it out for lat pull downs at the start of this muscle cycle. And I'm really glad I did that because the lat pull down here absolutely rots the bag. How they say it in Wisconsin, it rots the bag. And yeah, this is just a, a far superior machine compared to that lat pull down just because there's like a lot of friction on the lat pull down. But I think I talked about that a little bit last video. But yeah, uh, this exercise has been going really well. This week I did three sets on this exercise, um, slight rep increases from last week. So really what I've been trying to do as far as progression goes is um, for the most part this week, I have maintained the amount of sets that I had last week. And then I just try to increase the amount of reps I did on each set. So get, you know, like a slight volume PR compared to last week. Um, but it is getting to be very difficult to maintain performance on my exercises and basically just like match reps I did last week. So that's that's been interesting. Um, you know, being in a deficit for so long, that's something that is to be expected. It's not really that I'm losing the ability to, well, I, I guess I am losing the ability to showcase my strength, but that's only uh, transient. It's only something that's gonna last for a little bit. And that's mostly because I'm just so low on calories. Even like during my workouts, you know, during my workouts are the only times when I'm like somewhat full uh, because I have like a huge pre-workout meal or like a large amount of my carbohydrates pre-workout. So I'm able to, you know, have a decent gym performance. Um, to talk about this exercise a little bit, this is just the machine uh, rows that I've been doing. Really, really like this machine. Uh, it could be a little bit better. I, I do get a decent stretch on this one, but I do wish it had a little bit more range of motion for the contraction. But compared to some other machine rows that I've tried, this one is pretty fantastic and I really like the rotating handles. But as I was saying, this is a heavier machine row variation for this day. So I'm actually doing, I think, 8 to 12 reps on this one. Um, so this is pretty much like the same rep range that I'm doing on bent rows, just chest supported. And this way, I'm really able to take advantage of the stretch. So as you can see, I really protract my scapula and let my upper back round forward at the uh, top of the exercise, I suppose you call it which allows me to get a really good back stimulus. So I really, really like that machine and it, it seems like seems to be a great exercise for me. It gets me good SFR. This is another exercise that probably gives me the best stimulus to fatigue ratio out of any back exercise that I'm currently doing. This is the lat pullover, lat prayer, whatever you want to call it on the cable machine. I actually did this exercise with Jared Feather back in May uh, when he was here for the St. Louis uh, NPC Midwest show and I was able to get some pointers on technique from him as you can see every single rep I touch the uh, cable stack all the way down to the bottom so I have really standardized technique here 
and I touch my legs every time with the the lat pull down bar as well and I am using a higher rep range in this one because it feels really good to me. I uh, initially was planning to do 10 to 20 reps on this exercise, but it ended up becoming an exercise that I've been doing like, you know, like 15 to 25. So I think this first set I actually did like 25 reps, which is a lot of reps to do, but I get like a crazy, crazy pump in my lats from this. And I like it, it's probably one of my personal favorite back exercises. Um, there we got Jack lurking in the back behind the uh, you know machine here. <laughs> but honestly, I would say that like bent rows are still one of my favorite back exercises. Although now it's becoming so difficult to hold on to my performance, and it's a little bit depressing that I'm getting you know quote unquote weaker on it. Uh, but you know I'm. My leverages are changing. I, you know, have to use a little bit more range of motion on there because my stomach is so much smaller than it was when I was massing. Um, you know, so leverages have changed a lot and I'm just not able to showcase my strength the same way I would be able to during massing when I have like so much food in me. But there we go. E earbud fell out. That, that's when you know it was a good set. <laughs> Next up we have the cable upright row. This is an exercise that I've really, really enjoyed. Um, this is one that I've been doing for, I don't know, maybe like a year or something like that. I probably took like a few months off while I was having like my shoulder injury, but shoulder injury is pretty much gone at this point, which is really awesome. I'm really glad it disappeared when I started prep. So that's a huge, huge W for me. But this is an exercise that I really do enjoy. I get a really nice uh, side delt stimulus and I also get a really good stimulus to my traps too. Um, which, you know, isn't a bad thing. Uh, traps are trained pretty well in a lot of back movements and this is a movement that is not a back movement, but it's a shoulder movement and it also trains the traps really well. So, well, at least the upper traps. Next up, we have some side laterals. This is my lighter side lateral variation for the week, which is only with 15 pounds. Honestly, side laterals have become an exercise that I haven't really been enjoying that much recently. I don't really like doing them with heavy weights at all. Like when I do them with 20s, like 20s are the heaviest I'll do for side laterals. And I don't know, they just don't, they just don't rub me the right way anymore. I just, I, I think they're becoming a bit stale for me because I've been using them for so long, but using lighter weights like these 15s here is the only way that I really enjoy this exercise still. Like I get a really good stimulus on these, but when I do like something heavier like 20s and uh, pound out, I don't know, sets of 12 or something, I just don't get nearly as good of the stimulus. So I really like to use the cable machine for my single arm cable side laterals and um, you know other lateral raise machines to get a good size out stimulus. So I'm not really digging the um, dumbbell side laterals. Here we are browning out with some hammer curls. So this is getting me some nice brachialis, brachioradialis stimulus. Um, I don't know. I, I include this exercise mostly because I enjoy it. It's fun and I look really big when I'm doing it. So that's also a positive, I suppose. Uh, of course, we're repping that tiny boy or not tiny boy gains anymore. We're repping that Undefined Collective Without Remorse T. Highly recommend checking out Undefined. Uh, I will toss that link in the description down below. My friend Oase, if you guys don't know him, you guys, some of you might remember him from earlier YouTube videos, but my friend Oase has a clothing, clothing company, makes some really, really cool stuff, and he's coming out with more stuff very soon for, I think, summer or also fall coming up. Um, but yeah, this has been an exercise set like I said, I've just really been enjoying it. I've been doing this in a 10 to 20 rep range and it gives me a really good bicep stimulus too. So uh, not only does it get my forearms crazy pumped, but it gets my biceps pumped a lot. And then I hit some forearms after this, which I didn't record. And like I leave the gym with a fucking just massive forearm pump. But um, here we're ripping a little bit of posing before we actually get to the posing portion of this video. Uh, hit a quick front double. This guy's Myron in the back. You know how it is. And yeah, moving into some posing for this week. This is how we're looking. Um, really have been making a lot of progress when it comes to fat loss. And I'm really, really pumped about how I'm looking. I, like I said earlier in this video, I didn't know I could look like this. 
Like when I'm massing, I just had no idea. I just kind of thought I had shitty genetics, but now that I'm getting down to a lower body fat, I'm just like, holy shit, I have way more potential than I thought I did. So it's really important to not judge yourself when you're in massing or whatever and be like, oh, well, I have shitty genetics. Like just keep doing what you're doing, be consistent with everything. And one day when you become lean and you're gonna compete or something like that, you'll be able to really see where the truth lies. And you know, it might be a lot better than you think. So uh, yeah, this is, this is how we're looking nine weeks out. So that's the end of the video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you all next time. Later.